Without question, the most iconic rifle ever made has to be regarded as the lever-action rifle. As a design, the rifle dates back to 1837 and is best regarded as the rifle design that won the American West. Lever-action rifles embody a classic style and are still said to be advantageous for such pursuits as small game hunting all the way through deer hunting. They might not be the most efficient rifles out there, but they represent a sentimentality for many hunters from years gone by. Along with this, you get enough firepower and fast follow-up shots that keep your head in the game. So, you can do what you need to do with your rifle, on your terms. The classy looks and smooth lines give you a timeless quality to the rifle. The availability to a plethora of calibers means any shooter can find a lever action they can love. However, choosing the best lever action rifle can be an overwhelming task. Therefore, we decided to run you through 10 of the best lever action rifles that we could find on the market today. All of them are high quality builds and should offer you great value for your money. Introducing the first ever Henry Repeating Arms Side Loading Gate Rifle. Henry has listened to the questions and the concerns of you guys, so they built their very first side loading gate rifle. This one in my hands is chambered in 3855, and if you're unfamiliar with the 3855 cartridge, it is very popular to the cowboy action shooters. It is a very old round introduced in 1876 and kind of phased out in the mid 1940s. Here recently, with the popularity of cowboy action shooting, the 3855 has been resurrected. Henry Repeating Arms just didn't make another side loading gate. They made a side loading gate better. Let me explain. The Henry side gate has the familiar brass receiver, like found on the big boys. This brass receiver is strong as steel, and they've also took the liberty to drill and tap the top of the receiver where you can mount an optic of your choice. The rifle does hold five rounds plus one in the chamber, and it sports a 20 inch blued barrel. The rifle still has the very familiar buckhorn sights, and it does have something a little bit different on the front of the rifle. This has their ivory bead, unlike the brass bead that you may find on the original big boy rifles. The rifle does sport a brass butt plate and also has a brass barrel strap that has a sling swivel mounted right into it. The Henry Sidegate Lever Action has beautiful American walnut wood and has tight laser checkering on the forearm of the stock and also on the rear. There are two things that make this rifle extremely safe. The first of those things, in hammer slide transfer bar safety. The second thing is, Henry kept the tube magazine. Not only can you load from the side of the receiver, but you can also load the Henry rifle just like you did before. This will guarantee it to be one of the safest, if not the safest, side loading gate action rifles ever created. We've talked enough about this rifle, let's do some shooting. All right, I'm gonna load up the Henry side gate lever action rifle here chambered in 3855 with some 255 grain pills got a dueling tree down there at about 50 yards let me see if I can slap a little steel This is Winchester's model 1866. As the name suggests, it was created in 1866. Oliver Winchester took the old Henry rifle and he improved it. He put a loading gate back here so you could run rounds up into the tubular magazine and he put a forend on it so he didn't get burned holding onto the barrel. Well, this set the world on fire. From here on out, everybody wanted a Winchester because it was a repeating rifle. No more muzzle loading, no more single shots. You had all the ammo you needed in that tube. Well, they still make this beautiful rifle. The Yellow Boy, it's called, because it has a brass receiver. And it's now chambered for something that's easy to get and easy to fire, the 38 Special. You can load this baby up and plink with it, take small game with it. Someday I might even try hunting a deer with this 38 because through a rifle barrel, of course, you get much better ballistics than you would with a handgun. But the ammunition is inexpensive and easy to find, and the Yellow Boy rifle is true to its original. It still does all the things it did back then. It's exactly the same engineering, and it's a beautifully balanced rifle, and it's just fun to operate. If you're like me, you've got a lot of rifles of 
bold actions and single shots and ARs, fun guns, right? Try a lever action if you really want to have some fun and go back to your historic roots. The Winchester Model 1866 is a great way to do it. Winchester Model 1866 and 38 Special is some special kind of fun. This is the Browning Lever Action Rifle or BLR. It is the modern lever action gun. And I say modern because it has a detachable box magazine which allows for pointed bullets which you can't do with a tubular magazine. So if you like lever actions and you want a modern cartridge this is the gun to have and it is full featured. It has a rack and pinion lever which makes it extremely smooth. It's got a hammer with a fold down for an added measure of safety. It has an aluminum alloy receiver, so it's nice and lightweight. The bolt locks up into a barrel extension like the BAR does with a rotary, a rotary head on the bolt. And for those that travel a lot, and when size is an issue, we have a takedown model. Okay guys, welcome back here. Like I said, we are talking about the Henry X model, chambered in 44 Magnum. And why I wanted to talk about this rifle today is I truly think this is going to be my go-to rifle for deer hunting at close range, in the timber, maybe in a tree stand. Um, basically anywhere that I am going to have less than a 100 yard shot, 100 yards and in, this is gonna be my new go-to rifle. Reasons for that, for one, I love the new side gate, uh, which is great, comes in all the X models. I love the short compactness of this rifle. As you can see, this thing is really small and compact, but yet still very accurate. It's got really, really nice fiber optic sights on it, which is a huge thing for me. I have a bad astigmatism in my eyes, and that causes me not to be able to see great in lower light conditions, kind of that dusk time. So that's why most of the time you've seen me in the past, um, I elect to put an optic, maybe a low power, two to seven, one to four, something like that on these close range rifles. It just helps me see better in low light and uh, make better shots and ethical shots on animals. Um, but with these fiber optic sights, it has been a game changer for me. I can see these really well. Um, they're a really, really nice sight. And I'm really excited to go back to iron sights and be able to have these fiber optic sights and be able to ethically put a deer down when I need to. Another reason um, I like it is it's pretty lightweight. Um, that kind of goes with the short compactness of it. You can put a sling on this. You can put this thing up in a tree stand. You can move it around very nicely. It, it shoulders really well. It holds really well. You know, say I'm sitting in a tree stand right now, and a deer comes, you know, right here 20, 30 yards away. There's no issue at all that I couldn't uh, just hold on that deer with no rest and put him down. Uh, it just holds really, really well. It just feels like the perfect tree stand in the timber close range uh, deer rifle for me and I'm super excited about it. Another reason that I like it for hunting, it's just got the synthetic stock on it. Some of you guys, you know, might not like that. Uh, for me being a hunter, I do like that. I feel like I can beat this thing up a little bit. I can take it out in the weather. Um, I'm not going to scratch the stock. I don't have to worry about it. It also has a Picatinny rail up here on the front. Um, so when you guys are done, hunting with this gun you could potentially take it home put a hand grip on it on the front of it like this it's got a little flashlight built into it put this thing by your bedside uh, it is the perfect combination guys for for a close range deer rifle or or anything it could be bear hogs whatever it's a perfect close range rifle 100 yards and in um, you could bring it home put it by your bedside and uh, protect your family with it as well which is awesome. So I'm gonna put a couple rounds down range for you, show you guys the accuracy of this thing. It is a very accurate little gun. I'm at 50 yards here. Put my glasses and earmuffs on here. We are going to put 
couple rounds down range and uh, show you guys the accuracy of this thing. All right, guys, we put three shots down range there, all of them dead center right in the middle of those metal plates. This is just a great gun, guys. Like I said, if you are looking for um, a short, compact rifle for, for any reason, for home defense, um, hunting out of a tree stand, maybe you've got a real thick timber even if you're in a ground blind. This would be a great gun for a ground blind. There's not a lot of room in a ground blind sometimes, even especially if you've got somebody with you. Um, this is a short, compact, lightweight hunting rifle or protection rifle for you at home, home defense, that I think is just perfect. I'm absolutely in love with it. I am so glad Henry came out with it and I can't wait to uh, get out in the woods with this fall and hopefully put a big buck on the ground. Mm -hmm.